Hey everyone, it's, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this channel by then, I might change the name before, anyway, I don't know when this video is going out. Welcome to a video that I bet a lot of you guys are waiting for. Uh, I've been getting a ton of comments about when am I going to make the videos on these cars, or if these cars even exist. Uh, I am of course talking about the Barago Magello Tuscan Grand Prix Ferraris. If you watch my videos, which by the way... Most of my views come from people who are not subscribed. So if you are watching this video and not subscribed, and you like F1, subscribe. But that, that is out of the way. Uh, most people know if you watch my last few videos, I've been talking about these cars uh, forever. I think these are some of the best looking F1 cars from 2020. I think they are fantastic. Uh, I wish Ferrari was this color. And I didn't know if Barago was going to make these cars. And I'm so glad that they did. Because now I don't have to buy from BBR or the other one. I, I, might, I may still, if depending on if these cars look good or not. But I don't have to do that because Barago has stepped up and they made these cars. And I'm really happy with that. Uh, there's no sense in me wasting time. I don't really have a story to tell. I usually... It usually takes me a lot of time to get in the diecast. We're just going to jump right in. Um, I'm very I'm very excited for these, and I'm sure many of you are. Um, now, despite the fact that I said we're just going to jump right in, there are a few things to say. Uh, if you remember my Ferrari video last year, I guess I could call it. It was 2020, but it hasn't been a year yet. But on the 2019 Ferraris, I made a separation uh, between the toy and the model Barago cars. Basically, the toy ones came in this box. The model ones came in a box a little bit different. It came with a stand. It looked more like a Mini Champs or a Spark car. And they had drivers in it, the model ones did. Uh, this is what I dubbed the toy version um, because it doesn't have a driver and it comes in this style box. To my knowledge, there is not yet a model version of this car usually for ferrari they come out at the same time as the toy version so i would not i guess i'm guessing that there will not be a model version or a driver version of this car it'll just be the driverless one um, which is a little disappointing but it doesn't matter that much just to cover all my grounds they did just release a model or a driver version of the 2019 mercedes uh, now as a driver, I think it's just Lewis Hamilton, not Valtteri Bottas. Uh, yes, you heard me correctly. They just released the 2019 Mercedes with the driver. 2019, ladies and gentlemen, in 2021, or at least late 2020. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, just saw the box. It's all the same for Barago. And here it is, out of the box, the Ferrari SF1000 from the Tuscan Grand Prix, Ferrari's 1,000th Formula One Grand Prix. Uh, one of the, I've already said it, one of the best looking cars from this season. I'm so happy that Barago made this car. Take a look at it here. Uh, we got the front, we got a couple sponsorship differences on the front end here. Uh, I know I got the car. AMD is not on this car anymore, at least not in the same spot, uh, if it's still on here. But yeah, very nice looking. I will say this car, though, it's glossy. It is not matte red like last year's Ferrari. And I think that leads to like the, the front wing. It's not pronounced a whole lot. Like The edges on the front wing are not as pronounced, so they look a little bit shoddier, in my opinion, on this car. One thing I think that doesn't look shoddier, though, is, well, I was just saying that, but now you can see the paint is kind of oversprayed on the uh, suspension bits. Uh, and of course, the suspension bits are thicker than usual than it would be on a spark car. Right here, too. Look at that. I mean, that is bad. That's terrible on the halo right there. Um, it was sort of like that last year. It's weird. It looks better, and at the same time, it looks worse than last year's halo. Because on last year's halo, I've got the car right here. I wasn't going to show this quite yet. But last year's halo, it is a little bit, it's got a little bit of a finer line. You can see a little bump in the painting there. Um, but because the halo is plastic and the car is die cast, you could tell there's a, you could tell the difference um, between the halo and the car. This year, the halo is still plastic and the, it is still painted plastic, but it blends in a little bit better. But now 
the painting is really bad. Like a really bad job of painting. Um, well, check out the mirrors too. The mirrors have been crooked on the Barago cars in the past. And uh, what do you think? Does that look crooked to you guys? It looks a little bit weird to me. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so this is a little bit disappointing, I guess. Um, look at the barge boards, though. There are a lot of them. I mean, I've never seen barge boards like this from a Barago car. There's like a stack of stuff here. Um, that looks very nice, the barge boards do. Right here, though, it's clearly black plastic that they've painted red and not done a good job of covering it all. I don't know if that's somehow accurate, but moving now to the center of the car. Uh, I really like the numbers on this car. They look as if they have been painted on um, just by hand, like probably would happen back in the old days of F1 when Ferrari first started. Um, I, I mean, Ferrari may have even done it for this race, actually had someone paint on the numbers, which would be pretty cool, but I doubt that. Uh, but I really like the numbers on this car. Uh, I like the color. I mean, it's a fantastic looking color. Rear wing here, all that detail. There's nothing on the inside. It's all just carbon fiber, uh, the carbon fiber pattern on the inside of the rear wing. That's pretty cool. You don't see a lot of detail. Is this new? Did they? Yeah, so the in previous years, the Barago have not, Barago have not painted the lights on the rear uh, diffuser area, you can see. It's completely blank there, but this year it is not. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's another. That's a new detail. I like that. I like seeing um, new things on these Barago cars. I have said in a lot of my past videos that Barago have really stepped it up. Um, it kind of looks like I'm guessing that this part is plastic and this is the die cast because it looks like it's sort of a different color. Like one of them is painted on, and the other one is like the die cast itself is that color. Here is the inside. You can see the halo is not looking very good. It's like two separate pieces of, it's like three separate pieces of plastic that have all been glued together very, very badly. I know with COVID around, the quality might not be as good as it would be, but I mean, here's last year's halo. You could definitely still see that it's a couple separate pieces, but I think because it was matte, well, I don't know. The, the, the other one's matte too, I mean, this one just looks better. Like it looks better than the one here. Um, that is, uh, that's unfortunate that uh, there's a lot of things about this car that do not look as good as last year or look a lot worse. One thing that is correct though, it's the T-cam. I made a whole video about that. Check that out. They got it correct. Charles Leclerc is yellow. And this one is yellow. Holy shit. That's epic dude it's because of my video here's the bottom can't hardly see the car um you could see a little bit of it on last year i mean that's just something i think i mentioned it every time that's a rule in f1 you can't see the whole car from the bottom you can't see any of the car from the bottom if you turn it up and we got rear diffuser detail on the bottom there carbon fiber i don't like the barago floors very much they do they do what they can with what they have but i mean they get out I doubt they get out done. I mean, that's all I really need to say. So that's Charles Leclerc. Uh, not a great year for old Charles. What the fuck did what? Not a great year for Ferrari in general, but Leclerc did get two podiums. So, I mean, those were really great runs. Next chap we're going to look at. What am I from Australia, brother? Uh, is Sebastian Vettel. And this is the exact same car. So we're not going to take too much time. I'm not going to take too much time to look at this car because it is the same. I'd like to see if any of the quality is, I'd like to see if the quality is a little bit better on this one though, because I must say I was a little disappointed by some of the quality uh, control on the Charles Leclerc. Uh, like I said, it is COVID right now. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised that the Baragos have come out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure how much, how COVID has affected um, them and whatnot. So I'm glad that these cars came out, but here's the front. Like I said, uh, I don't even remember what word I'm, I'm an idiot, but you pronounce, you could see, you could see the, the front wing, like the gaps between where the front wing gaps would be on like a, the real car. You could see they're way more pronounced. You can see them a lot either easier. They are blended in a lot more cause I don't know. They had to paint this car. I, I, I really, I must say, I really like the matte looking Ferraris a lot better. I think they just look a lot better on the Barago bodies. I mean, they're molded a lot cleaner when it's a matte car. I mean, 
the 2018 Ferraris are the same. They're glossy and they, I don't know. It's just hard to say. These these wing, these mirrors look funky. I do not know if they're supposed to go up like that. I feel like they wouldn't, they shouldn't, because doesn't this, isn't this right here just going to block the driver? I feel like it's got to be like way down. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it looks like uh, the Halo, it's a little bit better on this car than it is on Charles Leclerc, but not by a lot. I mean, yeah, the barge boards look pretty good, um, but I don't have much to say, except for these ones. I don't know why they've painted those, but not very well. Soft tires again. <laughs> what is going on here? There's like black dots all over this car. That's not on the Charles Leclerc at all. They've just got some random dots in the car right here. Um, but that black is supposed to be there. Uh, but that is a very, very weird, I must say. This side is the same. Is this supposed to be? This looks crooked. and But the sticker does look a little crooked or whatever the decal is. But yeah, the, this side is all the same. Uh, it's all the same as the Charles Leclerc. Let's see if the halo is any better. Not really. Um, and the painting isn't super good right here. I mean... You can tell that that's painted on. You can also like push the halo down and it like goes down like it's not sealed very well. Like just right here. I mean, it's uh, not super build, not super great build quality. Decam's right. But other than that, I mean, uh, I'm a little disappointed actually. Uh, I'm usually, I, I've been very, very nice to Barago these past few years uh, since, well, I guess a year really. Uh, they really hit it out of the park in years prior, but this year, I'm not going to lie, uh, it's kind of like Ferrari's 2020. I mean, they, it's not that good. Like, these cars, I, I don't think the gloss looks very well, the glossy paint, but that's not Barago's fault. Ferrari made these cars glossy. But the Barago glossy paint has just never looked very good on these 143 uh, scale cars. I think there's a lot of painting issues that I have not seen on Barago for quite some time. Uh, I always say this, you get what you buy with, you get it, you get what you're paying for with Barago. But this year, it does seem like sort of a step back uh, than the previous year Ferraris. I still really like these cars. Like, I think they look fantastic um, from afar. The livery looks great, but on the Barago body, on the, with the Barago paint, it just doesn't really do them justice, I don't think. Um, so a lot of people have been asking whether or not I recommend these cars. And uh, it's kind of the same as any other Barago car. I mean, if you, you know what you're getting into, then yeah, I'd recommend them. But this year, it just kind of seems like a step back. I know with COVID and all that, it's more than likely that they weren't able to do a whole lot. But at the same time, I mean, just the build quality is not as good. There are a lot of painting issues, like on that Sebastian Vettel, on the Halo for both cars. I mean... I would say, I don't know, I, I don't want to say don't buy them because they are still nice looking cars. And if you're a Ferrari fan, obviously you're going to buy them still. But I would say, be careful, I guess. Don't just shill out your money, I guess, like I did. Uh, if you really want these cars, then yeah, go ahead and buy them. But if you're on the fence, maybe wait. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I, I've never bought a BBR, a look, look smart car, but I just, I'm guessing that those are going to, I mean, I know they're going to look a lot better. Uh, I think it's been a little bit of a step back from Barago this year, which is unfortunate because they did look really good last year, but, um, I mean, they're not terrible. I don't want to sound like I'm being so hard on them. They're still good looking cars, but they are just not quite where they were last year. That's 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 really all I have to say, actually. I mean, uh, it, it, it's a little disappointing, but not too bad. I mean, it is still Barago, but uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's all I have to say for this one. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Like the video if you like the video. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.